This little video is going to show you a cool trick you can do with your conversion factors to make sure the units match. I'm going to use a solution to a problem as an example of how to do it. So here's the problem. The city of Charlottesville uses an average of 10 million gallons of water a day. My classroom is 198 cubic meters in size. How many classrooms could be filled with this 10 million gallons of water? In other words, one day's worth of water. So to begin with, I'll look at some conversion factors that I have. And then from here, I'm going to look at what I have. So in the problem, it tells me I have 10 million gallons of water. It actually gives me a conversion factor. It says my classroom is 198 meters cubed. So that's down on my list of volume measurements in red. One room is equal to 198 meters cubed. And I'm assuming that my room is you know, average for the school. And now what I need to convert to is classrooms. So I've got to convert all this over into those rooms, that, that last conversion factor I was given. So I'm going to start with what they give me, 10 million gallons of water. So I'll write 10 million gall gallons of water over 1. Now for doing this, I'm going to start with the 10 million gallons of water, and I'm going to convert it eventually on the far right over to rooms. So I'm going to start with gallons to ounces, ounces to liters, or 2 liters in this case, then liters to milliliters, liters to milliliters to cubic centimeters, and somehow i got to get that cubic centimeters converted over into cubic meters. And that's the missing conversion factor that I'm going to use exponents to make it work. So I'll start with 128 ounces per gallon. Use that as my conversion factor. So I started with gallons on top, so now I'm going to have gallons on the bottom. I've got ounces on top, so I'll put ounces on the bottom. That leaves me with two liters on top. Liters on top, liters on bottom, leave me with milliliters on top. And then I'll use my next conversion factor. Milliliters on the bottom leaves me centimeters cubed on top. But the problem is that cubed. I don't have any other units around here that have centimeter cubed on my two lists. So I need to do something. Well, I know there's a conversion factor um, based upon the definition of a meter. A meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And I need to get to meters cubed eventually. So I've got meters and centimeters. I just don't have the cube part. So here's the cool little trick. Start with, I'm going to write my little conversion. 100 centimeters is equal to a meter. But these don't match the units on the left because it's centimeters cubed and I have 100 centimeters. There's no exponent. But what I can do is, I can do a cool little trick and I can cube everything in this fraction. Cube the 100, cube the 3, cube the meters. So now, centimeters cubed on top is centimeters cubed on the bottom of the next fraction. And that matches up the units. So it's possible to cube everything to match up the units when you need to. Because remember, all you're doing is you're matching up units, top and bottom, as you go through your dimensional analysis. My final conversion, now I have meters cubed. My final conversion is to go there to rooms, so I'm going to use the conversion factor they gave us. One room is equal to 198 cubic meters. So one final check. Gallons on top, gallons on bottom. Ounces on top, ounces on the bottom. Liters on top, liters on the bottom. Milliliters on top, milliliters on the bottom. Centimeters cubed on top, and that's where we did a little trick to get centimeters cubed on the bottom. That left me with meters cubed on top, and then I used my last conversion factor to get my meters cubed on the bottom. So now I've got room on top, left over, and rooms is what I want. In the calculator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in parentheses, and I'm going to start with everything in the numerator. So 10 million times 128 times 2 times 1,000. Close my parentheses, divide it by, and then again in parentheses, everything in the denominator. So that's going to be the 67.63 times 100 cubed times 198. Now to get that cubed on my calculator, I didn't use the caret and the 3. Instead I used the math menu, so I pressed math on the TI calculator, TI-84, and then I pressed the number 3 to make it the cube power. So math 3 gives me the cube of what I'm looking for, and then finally times 198. And that gave me 191 classrooms. So one day's worth of water can fill up 191 classrooms. In case you do go to my school, you'll know that there are 90, about 99 classrooms in the school, so it can fill up about two of our high schools, one day's worth of water. What's important about this whole process is that step right over here. It's how I raise things to a power in order to make the units match. It's always about the units. And when I raise the units to the power, I have to raise everything in the fraction to the power, the number and all the remaining units as well, and then continue looking for my conversion factors as I solve the problem.